Hello my friends, welcome back to MTD CNC North America. I am today at OptiPro Systems in Ontario, New York, and I'm with my buddy Sean. As you can see, we're in front of the Nakamura. You guys know Nakamura, we talk about Nakamura a lot. We talk about being able to run lights out, and we talk about the rigidity, but sometimes we fail to focus fully on the repeatability, which we know exists, right? Yes. So Sean, welcome to MTD. Can you share some of your experiences about the repeatability of the Nakamura machine? So once it's set up, uh, it'll consistently run and hold tents, one to two tents consistently all day long. Um, for wow. running like lights out production or a, like a 24 hour a day nonstop type deal with a bar feeder set up and maybe doing a, uh, picking it off with a sub spindle, um, this has a feature on it called the NT Nurse um, in which we can set up redundant tooling settings so we can basically run consistently without worrying about uh, making bad parts. So yes, with NT Nurse, you have several different functions you can use. Um, the first one would be tool counter, which is where you could set up uh, any tool, give it a certain number of cycles it'll run, uh, and once it gets to that limit, it'll give you a warning at first, and then once it hits that cycle, it'll stop. Um, to go a little bit more advanced to that, you can go into tool life, which is the same thing relative as the tool counter, but this will, once it hits that number of cycles, it'll go to the next redundant tool in your turret and begin running again, again with the same amount of cycle time. Um, and that would all be based on a setup that you did before you started machining. Um, but the theory is that you could run nonstop 24 hours a day and have accurate parts the whole time. This is one of the many reasons I think people fall in love with Nakamura is the ability to, as they say, set it and forget it. Yes. Yep. It's uh, very easy to set up. It's a great machine to work with. Very rigid and uh, yeah, it's a go-to machine that we use every day for any high tolerance parts. Well, we've talked about high tolerance. Uh, we've now talked about repeatability. I think that repeatability is, is worth you know, discussing as we're doing today because everyone seems to want to set up that bar feed and set it up for the weekend, right? I mean, yeah. that's where Nakamura is known. Yeah, and yes, of course, you want to be able to basically have your machine running for free with no labor going to it. So the machine is just making you money. The, there's no employee watching it, and it can just run all night, all weekend, and come back and have good parts. That's the main thing. And have good parts, Sean. Yeah. Now, see, to me, that's the key because we talk about the repeatability of this thing. I want to leave on a Friday, return on a Monday, and there's no change between Friday's last part I measured and Monday's first part I measure. Yeah, exactly. Unless something catastrophic goes wrong, I mean, you should have good parts when you come in on Monday um, based on how it was set up and uh, the conditions the machine's running. Reliability, repeatability, rigidity, lights out machining. There's so much to this Nakamura, Sean. Thank you for sharing your wisdom with MTD CNC and being a part of MTD CNC today. Yeah. Thanks for having me on.